Thank you, Loy. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Now, I know Julius Malema was in hospital recently, but apparently there's no cure for saying stupid things. At a public meeting in Indonesia the other day, he said, Now, in English, this basically means your children must be allowed to go to school with coolie children. Now, that sounds like a positive statement. I mean, we all go to school together, kumbaya, my lord. But the word kuli is a derogatory term, like the K-word, hot and tot, Liverpool supporter. It's insulting, man. And he didn't even know he was being racist, apparently. That's like when you hear people go, I'm not racist. Many of my friends are Bushmen. To many Indian people, the word kuli actually brings out the same feelings as the K-word. But for some reason, you're still allowed to say the full word coolie on the radio without people beeping it out. I mean, on 702, they said the word all the time. ANC Youth League President Julius Malema has referred to Indians as makula or coolies. He is alleged to have told a crowd of about 600 residents, your children must be allowed to go to school with coolie children. I mean, you can't do that with a K word. That's like hearing on the news, our top story tonight. Darren Scott called a colleague c on Saturday. Using the word c outrageous colleagues. I think that we should never actually use these words, even in a reporting capacity. But some people believe that if you are from a particular background, from a particular racial background, you should be allowed to say it. Everyone else, you can't even say the full word. Now, two of the major problems in South Africa are massive unemployment and people being racist in private. I have a solution that solves both these problems at once. Don't use these words in private. Instead, employ a race to say these words for you. I could be reading the newspaper. <laughs> Can't believe it again. This minister is always abusing state funds. He's bloody. This, this coolie really irritates me. No, no, I meant Coolie Roberts, the journalist. It's really annoying. Oh, seriously. Mm. Okay. Why don't you get me some coffee? I really enjoy caffeinated beverages. Sure, I'll rush. I don't want to cool it down. So based on this, it's diagnosis time. Malema is once again suffering from foot-in-mouth syndrome. We use the racial slur because he said there's no other word for Indian in pedi. So the treatment for pedi is the same as the treatment for this foot, a uh, pedicure. Use the word amandia instead. I think we should try not to use these ugly words at all. I don't like the other approach that certain African Americans have, where they use the N-word or... Nepotism. Niggers. Yeah, now they use that as a term of endearment and a term of brotherhood. Now, I can't imagine other cultures doing that. One day, Indian people going, What's up, my kuli? Yeah, kuli, kuli. Don't come at me with that. Kuli, please. That's my second opinion. Back to you, Loy. For shizzle, my kuli, isn't it?